all right so that's how you do it pokemon just dropping a video unannounced with no promo no video well of course we had a video but just no promo no tweet no tweet no warning no nothing you just come drop the video and leave and that's what they did and i really appreciate it i like when we're caught off guard it builds suspension i was me. so excited when i saw yeah. just randomly going through youtube and seeing the thumbnail i just i genuinely I got excited i love those moments and uh, welcome back to the lecture table talk guys and we'll be discussing a new trailer that was sneaked into our lives this morning and um some really big news we got four new pokemon and we're going to be taking a look at those four pokemon today all right so our first pokemon is all creamy what do you think about all creamy i like all creamy i really do all creamy i the scenes, i so. would have loved it more if swirlix didn't exist because what is really exist. separating all creamy and swirlix the swirlix line they they both have the sweet veil mm -hmm. ability they're both swirlix was a cotton candy pokemon yeah and, and Slurpuff was the, the merengue, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. it. And then all cream is a pink Pokemon. They're just literally the same. They're just based off desserts. They're both pink. Exactly. They both have this whipped essence about them. It's just a little too close all to the family. All cream is just reimagined. As yeah, exactly. If just Swirlix reimagined. All cream okay. is just like a fairy 101. Mm. I mean, when the fairy is, generate, when I, the fairy I think type it, it was. It is fairy 101, and I think. We're in the third generation of fairies. Time to think think fairies of debut. I think it's time to be a little bit more imaginative. But I mean, we see Impidimp, and Impidimp is taking a different um, approach to the fairy type. Yeah. But like I said, but like I said, we are Gen Six came out with Slurpuff, and then we're uh, two generations ahead, and we're kind of going back. Mm, so exactly. That's my only critique good. with Alchemy. But like, like you said before, if um, Slurpuff and uh, Sorlis didn't exist, All Creamy would definitely get much more praise. But let's just look at All Creamy and Idols Pastry Chefs. It produces whipped cream. We're just gonna summarize, we're gonna go through all of this quickly. Its cream has a soothing effect, and of course, there it is Dynamax. And of course, we're gonna talk more about All Creamy a little bit later. But my thoughts on All Creamy. It's a great design, it's a good design, it's cute. Like it more, so it's but it just didn't like it more if Swirlix didn't exist. So our next Pokemon that we'll be looking on is Yamper. Where's Yamper? Yamper. Right, Yamper. And Yamper is the Pokemon Pokemon electric type. We saw this Pokemon in the demo a couple short weeks back. Ball fetch is the ability, which is kind of like a more gameplay ability rather than a I competitive think ability. And it only allows you to retrieve the first fail. I think you should. Is just... it first fail or all fail? No, it's the first fail. Let's I think it should have just been all. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, ball fetch is a new ability introduced in this and it will come to Cat, it will throw. go fetch the first Pokeball that failed. I just think that should have just been all. It should, should have just been all. I mean, come on, can, can we be a little bit ability? Anyways, exactly. It's just like, come on, we need to be a little bit more generous with the ability, but the flavor text really just adds more personality. It crackles at it when it's drawn to movie things. You can all visit the Pokemon website for more detail. We're just here to give our thoughts on the Yamper's um, style as we didn't release a video when the demo was going out. But um, I think Yamper is cute. It does give me the Yorkie-ish vibes, but I know it has a specific real-life counterpart. But um, in terms of the cuteness or the terms of the likability, I think they are similar. I think it's a cool design. Yeah. Next Pokemon is Roly Coley, and I like Roly Coley. Um, I see that some people don't really like Roly Coley. They think it looks a little bit too Bell Dumb. They think it's, it's just giving a me a block big, of rock. It's giving me Bell Dumb vibes. It's, it's giving me. Um, my thing is Roly Coley. What I like is is the bright red eye um, against this black backdrop. It really draws you to that center. Um, I like the geometric silhouette. I love the wheel on its underside. It's even me. Look at this alternate artwork. I like I the Pokemon 
the Pokemon Go company gives us alternative alternate artworks it really gives the Pokemon more, more personality gives them more dimension and so but it's still, it's giving me bottom vibes it's giving me rock and roller vibes yes yeah mm. which is a lot of this trailer scene. would have loved it more again I would have loved it more, more. If Beldum did exist if rock and roller didn't exist because uh, after rewatching the trailer it became a little bit nostalgic um, we were seeing a lot of similarities with other Pokemon and um, that is what Roly Coley, some some persons were saying it, they got Beldum vibes, other freaking Rock and Roller vibes. I got Beldum, I saw Rock and Roller. I think it's a cool design other than those very um, common similarities. That I we think were I like I, the new ability Steam Engine mm -hmm. uh, allows this Pokemon to get a speed boost when hit with a fire or water type move. Um, Competitive wise it has viability. Com yes, it just does, depends, it depends on the stats. stats. It depends on if it already gets a good speed stat. Um, I'm thinking you can switch in on a fire type attack. I will be seeing that most likely. Yeah, yeah if you predict your opponent's move to be a fire type attack, it will already use this fire. It's not going to take much damage and it will get the speed boost. So I'm assuming that's what the game plan would be. So yeah. Our final new Pokemon is... Why well, I'm all at the bottom for all of them. Alright, it's... I'm not sure how you pronounce this. I heard, I hear some people in their review saying Duraldon. They're keeping the U silent. Duraldon. But I've grown to say Duraldon. So we say Duraldon. Duraldon is the Aloe Pokemon. I really like that. It's the Aloe Pokemon. Steel Dragon type, which is no longer exclusive to Dialga. 5'11, 88.2 pounds, which a lot of people are kind of scratching their heads. You seem like a big Pokemon, right? You're so light with the abilities light metal and heavy metal. Really wish that they had different abilities. I just always like when sophisticated, well-designed Pokemon have very strong abilities and not this kind of, hmm, like, you know, run-of-the-mill kind of ability. So, but this, we're here for the design, and what do you think of the design puzzle? It's giving me too much. <laughs> Gigalith. Gigalith. It, it is. reminds me too much of Gigalith. This could have been a Gigalith Galarian form. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I we're going to get Galarian again, forms. I, I would have loved it so much more. If it did, if we didn't have Gigalith, it reminds me too much of Gigalith. I'm sorry. So I'm not ecstatic about it. I would have if it didn't. If Gigalith didn't exist, if even it's if Gigalith didn't Gigalith. exist, it's a welcome. It's a complicated design, but it's a complicated design. Pokemon, a sophisticated one, but it, it does get a little complex. Pokemon in what can it's always to get tricky in their anatomy. Yes, right. Yes, these are imagined beasts mm -hmm. of your mind on your creative uh, essence or whatever. But we still have to remember anatomy. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't There's think it's much... there, you should still anatomy should. should still play a part in your design. And it should be respected. Why is his mouth like a lid? It, a, it has this opens up like a like lid, like a lid effect. of a garbage can. What is this lid? I like the very um, what is the word? Armory. Um, design it looks like a cannon it looks like it's packing firepower I like that it has a rival with Tara and it builds the story behind it do you think it design it? is like I said complex but I still is think it it's a strong evolution I definitely think it's a final piece? stage or it could be like a, um, a, a Drodigon it could be like one of those standalone. standalone but I'm um, seeing that it seems to be a Counterpart I of don't think it's a pseudo legend. I don't think it's a pseudo, but I do think it could have, since it is a rival to Ryan to Tyranitar. Could be like a Volcarona could, type big um, stats. Yeah, could be. But I, I'm excited. I would like to, since it's fighting a Tyranitar, this must be at least the final stage of the evolution. All right, so Giganta Maxine was introduced i know there were leaks going around i'm trying not to pay attention to the leaks but the leaks had include gig 
Gigantamaxing or Gigantamaxing, however you want to pronounce it, which is basically fusing Dynamax, Mega Evolution, Z Moves, all in one package with a bow on it. And the Pokemon that were demonstrated with this new phenomenon were who are who who Corvinet, Dreadnought, and uh, All Creamy. All Creamy. So we're gonna check out Gigantamax Dreadnought first. And Gigantamax Dreadnought. <laughs> um, I like the design. I think it is it, it has enough alteration, yet still it has some special traits to it that gives it that um true example of what Gigantamantics will be like in the games. Um, it has a new attack that is basically a high powered water move that has the effect of stealth rock. So it deals damage and it sets, sets up, up stealth rocks, rocks on the opponent's side of the field. Like I said, Dynamaxing is it's a really touchy issue. A lot of opinions on on Dynamaxing began to mass in and um, I think I'll save that for another video but what I've seen with um, Dreadnoughts began to mass I like it out of the three this is my favorite one what do you think also? um the long I pauses could agree I, I really don't care for the Gigaman whatever it wants name I don't really I didn't really care for Dynamax and so it's, I don't really have, it's not drawing much of an opinion out of me. The uh, Corviknights, uh, Gigaman, I can't tell the. I can't tell if there's any design alterations or not. Yeah, it just looks like it has some highlighted red I like design. The, I love the flying. The or flying bird ornaments yes. on this giant Corviknight Christmas tree, I appreciate. Um, uh, uh, it has its high power. They all have G Max moves based on the typing or the primary type, I'm guessing. Um, G Max Wind Rage. It's a high power flying move with high power default. Default with the addition of dealing default that also removes terrain. So, um, these G Max moves seem to be really competitive and is really going to be strateg strategically oriented in its usage. So, um, I'm, I'm really glad that that's when Pokemon is leaning to, to that competitive realm. And because I think that's at the end of the day, that's the core of Pokemon mechanics. It's a competitive feel. And then we have Big Mom. <laughs> Our last Gigamantic Pokemon that was shown is the Al Creamy, which is a giant multi tiered wedding cake. <laughs> so it's giving us One Piece whole cake island arc vibe. Um, it's a. It as. It's extravagant, it, it's impractical, and it's a reach with Pokemon, and that's what I respect them for, and I really enjoy that we went for that reach. I think, this is, like I said, it's over the top, and that's what I appreciate about it, and uh, I just like it, I like it. And it's G-Max move, it's G-Max finale, and it will heal all Pokemon. It's what, it's a fairy type, fairy type move that will heal all Pokemon side while dealing, dealing damage. damage so it's a supportive move dealing well, packs damage. a punch packs a punch um overall this was a very interesting trailer like i said i really appreciate it taking me by surprise and um um what and, um so we're gonna really just wait and see what's next gonna happen i can't wait Thank you guys for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and share. We're a small channel. You really want to grow and um, we want you to grow with us. So um, thanks to everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.